Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Maxwell DeMille talking, here to welcome you once again to the world-famous Cicada Club, now celebrating its fifth fabulous year. How many folks have never been here before? And how many folks are here for the very first time? She is. Oh, well, more people are here for the... Well, you first-timers, welcome. I'd also like to wish a big happy birthday to Amory having her 21st birthday. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now legal to get her snocker rated. So she's already upstairs, just paces away from Max, the benignly belligerent bartender. So take it away, folks. You know what to do. I'd also like to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, next month, at Fort MacArthur, the great Los Angeles Air Raid returns. And here to tell you all about it, Sergeant Sisko and the men from Fort MacArthur. All right, say Sarge, what, what can we expect February 19th at Fort MacArthur for the great Los Angeles Air Raid? Well, we're gonna have a fabulous fundraiser for the fort. And we're going to have uh, uh, Dean Mora and the Fort MacArthur Officers Orchestra performing for all of our patrons. And, uh, and lots of fun, ladies and gentlemen, like he said. And say, why not pick up a swell postcard? Show them the postcard, Sarge. It's out on the table when you walked in. It'll tell you all about the great Los Angeles Air Raid, February 19th. Thank you, Sarge. Thank you, fellas. Thank you. And coming up at the Cicada Club next Sunday night, ladies and gentlemen, if you thought tonight was unbelievable, you haven't seen anything quite yet. Because next Sunday night, it's the Fred Sokolow Show. Fred Sokolow will be getting married live on stage during the band break here at the Cicada Club. And if that wasn't enough, I will be marrying him because I am an ordained minister and I can marry him. It's true. So if you want to see something once in a lifetime, well, maybe with him, he might happen twice or three times. But next Sunday night, the Sokolo Show, Fred and Lynn get married live on stage. And next, well, March, not next month, but Mr. Dean Mora, step up, Mr. Mora. A tribute to the Coconut Grove. What can we expect at the Coconut Grove? Well, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Dean Mora. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Go All ahead. righty. Well, thank you. Oh, stop it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for coming down here. We hope to see you on March 13th for our tribute to the Coconut Grove. We feature works performed at the Coconut Grove from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, including pieces performed by Gus Arnheim, Jimmy Greer, Bill Harris, and Freddie Martin and his orchestras. All those who, who perform for stars and countless dignitaries at the famed Coconut Grove at the late, great Ambassador Hotel. All so we, gone. All gone. So we hope to see you there March 13th. Ladies and gentlemen, Dean Mora. Tonight's music director with Mora and his Melody Boys. But now it's time to start our big program. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Johnny Holiday program. And here he is, Mr. Johnny Holiday. Thank you very much. And I'm so glad so many of you decided to stay. Say, Mr. Holiday. Uh, yes. <laughs> you know, we've had almost 5,000 people tune in to tonight's live broadcast. And I'd like to say to those 5,000 people that are tuning in to tonight's live broadcast, and to all of you, something I think that's very, very important. So if you'll please give me your attention for just a moment. Earlier tonight, I had the pleasure of once again seeing the lovely Jan Daly. Jan, where are you? Jan Daly over there. Jan Daly traveled with Bob Hope on a number of USO tours in Vietnam 
and I want to say hello to you and say you look lovely and thank you for coming, Jan. And speaking of the USO, on February 4th, the USO will be celebrating its birthday. Many of you may or may not know that right now, well over 100,000 of our fellow citizens are dispersed around the world so that the lamp of liberty can continue to shine. You can help in their efforts by showing your support by going to uso.org and making a contribution so that a care package can be sent to one of our G.I. Joes or Jills who are serving our country with pride and dignity and honor. Please chip in and help the USO until we can bring them all home. Thank you. And now, Mr. Holliday, what are you going to favor us with right now? Well, I thought I'd favor you with um, the Polovetsian Dance Number no. 2 by Boradin. Very but good. instead, I want to say again to my friend George Farrick. George, thank you so much. Stand up again. George Farrick of the Polo Lounge, the Bistro Garden, and of course, Larson Steakhouse. And he tolerates me once in a while, too. Thank you, George. I'm so glad you're here. And Mr. DeMille, I've chosen a tune that I think uh, you might enjoy, and it'd be nice to see you dance, because he's actually quite a good dancer, the ladies tell me. We're going to do uh, an old tune, and I think it suits Jan Daly very nicely. You're just too marvelous. I am, man, aren't I? Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Holiday. You're just too marvelous. Too marvelous for words like glorious, glamorous, and that old standby, your amorous. It's all too wonderful. I'll never find the words that say enough, that tell enough. I mean, they just aren't swell enough. Your mind. the birds to tell you that you're marvelous too marvelous for words If you want to get a good recording of that, get one by Uncle Bing with uh, Victor Young. I think it's very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, earlier tonight, oh, by the way, where's Matt Deckard? Matt, one of the best dressed men in the house turns, uh, Matt, I think you turned 21 tonight. So I want to wish Matt Deckard a very happy birthday. Where are you, Matt? He's somewhere perspiring because the kid dances like a banshee. He's like a whirling dervish. I also want to point out in the audience tonight, a young man who I happened to hear play piano uh, last December. I must tell you, he's the youngest graduate of Yale University's uh, music program. He has a PhD at age 26, and he plays the Rhapsody in Blue as good as Oscar Levan, Dr. James Lent, who's sitting right over there. James, this kid is, in, get his CD, I'm telling you. He plays 
beautiful piano. I keep popping my peas. Look at that. All right. So much for ginger snaps. And now let's talk about the youth of America. Because right now I'm going to introduce a young man that you heard earlier. I'm still trying to get over his AARP remark. But I want to bring up Adam Tunney again. I think Adam should be coming up here. Where are you? I think he's wearing that rayon tuxedo. Oh, there you are. How nice and shiny you are. Now listen, Adam. Sir. I really want to tell you something. DeMille and I were talking. Now okay. you know Mr. DeMille is responsible for all of this. He's the boss, yeah. No, 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 I'm the boss because okay. this is my show and you're a guest. And because you're a guest, you're gonna get some crap food products on your way out tonight, some cheese spreads, some Velveeta, the two pound loaf for the economy size. But I wanted to just tell you something. I, I really enjoy your presentation. I want you to get close to that microphone and tell me yes. what you're going to sing. I'm going to sing Polka Dots and Moonbeams. Oh, something from the big band era. Yes. And, and, and is there a particular singer that you enjoyed hearing that done by? We didn't record, rehearse this, so I'm throwing you for this. a loop. Sinatra. Right. Tommy Dorsey. Tommy Dorsey, yes. that's right. A very dreamy ballad, and there's some dreamy girls out there, so guys, hang on to them, because I might make a maneuver or two out there. Go ahead, kid. Take thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. A country dance was being held in a garden. I felt a bump in her. And oh, beg your pardon, suddenly I saw polka dots and moonbeams all along a pug nose dream. The music started, and was I the perplexed one? I held my breath and said, may I have the next one in my frightened arms? Polka dots and moonbeams sparkled on a pug nose dream. There were questions in the eyes of other dancers as we floated over the floor. There were questions, but my heart knew all the answers, and perhaps. A few things more Now in a cottage filled with lilacs and laughter I know the meaning of the words ever after And I'll always see Polka dots and moonbeams When I kiss my pug nose dream dancing. There were questions in the eyes of other dancers as we floated over the floor. There were questions but my heart knew all the answers And perhaps a few things more Now in a cottage filled with lilacs and laughter I know the meaning of the words ever after And I'll always see polka dots and moonbeams when I kiss my pug nose dream. That was good. That was pretty good, champ. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yep. 
You know, I, I have to tell you, honestly, I've teased this kid for a while, but uh, <laughs> we rehearsed, uh, I got to hear him sing in my house, and uh, I have to say, Adam, I really do enjoy your voice, and I think he has tremendous prospects ahead of him with this marvelous voice, so much so that you're going to have your own night here at the Cicada Club, I'm Wonderful. told. Wonderful, yes. So congratulations. Thank you congratulations. very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's right. And I hope you don't spend as much as I did tonight, because I got about 40 dinners waiting for me to pay for. <laughs> I could pay the rent on this place. But listen, I want to ask you something. You know, yes. I, you like Frank Sinatra, and yeah. you know, I mean, you know where I come from. I'm, I'm a little bit more dated. I happen to be a, an Irishman, and I come from a long line of singers and band leaders. You know that, right? Yes, I've heard that rumor, yes. Yes, indeed. And I'm a, a big fan of America's most popular vocalist of all time, Mr. Bing Crosby. And uh, for good reason. Uh, got me through college. But, um... He sings those Buble songs, right? <laughs> Buble, yes. Buble, Buble. You know, let me tell you something. With the right haircut, you can get anything in this world. <laughs> but I want to tell you, I thought it would be nice for you to sing a, perhaps a little different sort of a tune. And, you know, Bing hit gold on many songs, more than Sinatra. And uh, 41 gold records, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. 41, no one comes close. Nobody, 398 chart-topping tunes. We're going to do one right now. Adam? I want you to sing a simple melody. Can I sing the Bing part? You'll do Gary's part. <laughs> All right, fine. Which means I'm going to hit you with a nine iron. Okay. Ho! Just like the record, folks. Won't you play a simple melody? Like my mother sang for me. One. With a good old-fashioned harmony Play a simple melody Musical demon, send your honeys a dream And won't you play me some rag Just change that classical drag To some sweet, beautiful rag If you will play from a copy of a tune that is choppy You'll get all my applause and that is simply because I want to listen to rag Musical demon send your play honeys a dream And won't you melody. play me some rag Just change that classical my, knack my mother To some sweet to beautiful drag If you will play One from a copy of a good old fashioned You'll get all my applause harmony. And that is simply Play because a I want to listen to rap. Musical demon, send you play honey, you dream, and won't you play hey, me hey, some rap? Knock, knock it up, knock it up. Just change that classical like man my mother to some sweet, to beautiful drag. Hold on to your brace. If you will play One. from a copy of a good two old is choppy, you'll get all my applause. And that is simply because a simple I want to listen to rap. Play, play from a copy of a two man is choppy, you'll, you'll get all of my applause. Because I want to hear I wanna it. Rag it. Rag that melody. melody. I held that note. He won. He won. Oh Thank you, kiddo. Let's hear it for Johnny Holiday, oh. ladies and gentlemen. What a guy. The left lung just collapsed. <laughs> the left lung. Adam Tunney, ladies and gentlemen, thank him again for me, won't you? Very nice. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I was very lucky when Dean Moore and I had a little visit over at the Smokehouse. And you know, outside we have several of Dean's CDs. And I happen to remember when Bing recorded many, many years ago a song I've always enjoyed. And it's done in the old style where he would sit in the chair, 
band would play, he'd get up, do a vocal refrain, sit back down, and the band would take over. We're going to do a rendition of an old popular song, a tune I've always enjoyed, Sweet Sue, with Dean Moore and the Melody Boys. I'll come back. star above knows the one I love, sweet Sue, just you, and the moon up high knows the reason why, sweet Sue, just you, no one else it seems ever shares my dreams, and without you dear, I don't know And Mr. Germain, that was incredible. This is from the CD, Mr. Rhythmist. I believe it's Mr. Rhythmist goes to town. I've been listening to it for a long time. It's outside, and I highly recommend it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it'll be outside after the band is finished. And ladies and gentlemen, just because I can tell you're all hot to trot and ready to dance a little bit more, I think Dean's got another instrumental lined up. What's it going to be? Oh, the gentle drifter, one that I whistle almost every day. And here's Dean Mora and the Melody Boy. Ladies and gentlemen.
that was Sentimental Journey. No, no. It, what is it again? Je Gentle Grifter, which I ran into a grifter just upstairs, but they ended up leaving, as you know, earlier. And I hope that all of you had a chance to take a look at Lauren and Mickey's items outside because I know it would mean a lot to them. Because it really, for them to come out here is, a, is really quite an effort and I'm very grateful that they have. Ladies and gentlemen, no, I mean, come on, I love the Cicada Club. I have heard so many wonderful people. I've heard Ian Whitcomb, Janet Klein, Richard Halpern, Christine, Ginger. I can't even name them all. I've always had a great time here. And whether I've guested or made a brief appearance or had dinner here, I've always had a one. It's my favorite place. And there is no supper club like this anywhere west of New York. So we're very lucky to have this. And I really encourage you to visit Mr. DeMille's website, cicadaclub.com. You need to register to find out who's coming. Akili Smith came up here. Wonderful. I hope to bring her into one of my shows. I've got some other folks lined up. So remember, April 3rd, I want to see you back here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, she was here earlier. And I think we're going to bring her back, right? Yes, let's bring her back. Where is that gorgeous gal who is not wearing calico? Shannon Fryer. Hello, Johnny. You know why I'm perspiring, don't you? <laughs> why? Um, oh. No, no, no. I mean, listen, Shannon. You know, if you and I were to go on one of those USO tours, I don't know if I could get you back in one piece. Uh-oh. <laughs> but, um, but I want to tell you something. Everyone liked you so much last time, and I'd like to sing again. Is there, uh, you know, we were talking about movies earlier. Yes. And you were telling me about some of the films that you enjoy and some yes. of the songs from those films. So I've given you enough cues. <laughs> well, I love Bing Crosby, of course. <laughs> Who doesn't love Bing Crosby? Well, I mean, really. <laughs> and Johnny, I remember when you first met me, you told me that you thought I looked like Dorothy Lamour. You do. You've got those cheekbones, kid. It's all in the cheekbones, <laughs> as Jerry would say. So I would love to sing a song from a road picture from 1940 that uh, Bing Crosby and Dorothy Lamour actually sang together. Which I'm going to let you sing by yourself. I will do that. Because I'm going to go over here and watch you. Okay. Actually, i got to go change my clothes. So, <laughs> Shannon Fryer, and you're going to sing? Too Romantic. I am, and you are too. <laughs> So afraid of night, cause I'm too romantic. Moonlight and stars can make such a fool of me. You know you're much too near and I'm too romantic. Don't ask to hold my hand, cause I might agree. Let me fall unless it could all come true.
ladies and gentlemen, Shannon Thank Fryer. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> Thank Shannon. you, everyone. Shannon, that was wonderful. Thank you know, you. Dottie Lamore sang that in the road to Singapore, which was the first outing with Bing and Bob and Dorothy. And of course, uh, Bob and Bing had first worked together at the Capitol Theater. And uh, before your time, of course, Little I bit. was an usher. <laughs> and um, that Saratan's wonderful, it keeps me young. <laughs> but I don't know, you don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have no idea. That's right, uh, I'm hoping that a potential sponsor might be Saratan, Rose Milk, or Triscuits, the 100% whole wheat wafers. <laughs> Now listen, kid, li yes. I, I'm talking to the mic. Now listen, kid, I want to ask you something. Did you notice I was giving a, getting a lot of smooches over there? With, I saw. You well, were getting was, very romantic over there. That was Linda Picardo, the actor oh. Robert Picardo's wife. And oh. Robert, I know you'll be watching this on the playback, and I assure you it's all innocent. I just wanted her earrings. I've got a mortgage payment due on the first. <laughs> That's true. Hey, I got an idea. Yes? Let's go on our own little road trip. Why don't you and I... Do something from, uh, I don't know, maybe the one we rehearsed, The Road to Morocco. What do you say we do uh, Moonlight Becomes You? Moonlight Becomes You, one of my favorites. Do you think it becomes me? Moonlight definitely becomes you. That's because I use Lux toilet soap. Okay, there's my last plug. And We're going to do Moonlight Becomes You. Do you want to start or do I start? No, you should start. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> Oh, I could hold you tight, kid. Oh, please do. Mm. USDA Prime. Moonlight becomes you. It goes with your hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> There's some... <laughs> Moon... Moonlight becomes you. you. You do that to me again, I'll kill you. <laughs> Moonlight becomes you. I know, I know. I'm thrilled. You're all dressed up to go dreaming now Don't tell me I'm wrong What a night to go dreaming Mind if I tag along If I say I love you Can't whistle, but if I could, I'd put in your ear. I lost my pucker in 1979. You're all dressed up to go dreaming. Yes, I am. <laughs> now don't tell me I'm wrong. I would never. What a night to go dreaming Mind if I tag along If I say I love you I want you to know It's not just because there's moonlight Although Hey, 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 that's my line! Moonlight becomes you so Shannon Fryer. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Shannon. You're an angel. Thank you. It might be your show, Mr. Holiday, but I get the girl. Yes, you do. Ladies and gentlemen, Dean Moore and the Moore Up Melody Boys are going to do Mr. Five by Five. Chico Marx Band did it. I like this.
was Dean Moore and the Melody Boys doing Mr. 5x5. Five five. And now George Farrick happens to be here. One of the songs that, um, when I was uh, still a, a band singer, a boy band singer, so many years ago, this is one of the songs they wouldn't let me sing because I was too young. And then when I got older, they'd let me sing it, and then the big rooms sort of closed down. But we're going to do a, a very nice ballad, which I think, uh, I wish some of the younger set would uh, pick up on a good tune like this once in a while. It's called She's Funny That Way. Nice and easy. I'm not much to look at, nothing to see, just happy I'm living and happy to be. I've got a woman crazy for me, she's funny that way, can't save a dollar, I ain't got a cent. She'd never holler, she'd live in a tent. I've got a woman crazy for me. She's funny that way. Oh, she'd love to work and slay for me. Got a woman crazy for me. She's funny that way. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed that one. And now we're going to turn it back over to the Melody Boys so you folks can continue to dance and I can go have a drink at the bar. But then I'll be back. And so we'll maybe another surprise. We'll see you soon. Here we go. What are you going to do? Mo oh, the Woodchopper's Ball. Is that Bobby Sherwood? I love it. Do it.
Woodchopper's Ball, and I must say that was a very nice arrangement, Dean Mara. Mr. Holiday. Yes. In honor of your very first Johnny Holiday program here at the Cicada Club, uh -oh. it is my honor to present you with a complimentary bouquet of flowers. Oh, I feel like Little Miss America. Look at that. Excellent. That one has aphids on it. Don't sniff it. I know, and they're making their way towards my ear, which means, of course, I need to sign off in just a moment with this song that... Uh, I'm going to... DeMille, why don't you hold those for me? Thank you. I feel like Kitty Carlisle. They're bringing me the flowers. But I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. And here's a song that I think uh, we used to close with some 20 plus years ago when I was doing this regularly and for real money. Tony Martin sang it much better, but we'll do our best. I'll see you in my guests, Lauren Chapin, who flew in from Florida just for tonight. Of course, I want to thank Shannon Fryer, she of the lovely legs, and the great voice, Adam Tunney, Rusty Frank, of course, Dean Mora, the Mora, Mora and his Melody Boys, my friend George Farrick, and of course, Mickey and Jan Rooney, and all of you for making this possible. Thank you. This is Johnny Holiday in Hollywood. Until next time. Lips that once were Ladies and gentlemen, it's been the Johnny Holiday Program here at the Cicada Club. Johnny will be back with his guests on April the 3rd, so you won't want to miss that big show. And of course, next week, it's the Socolo Show here at the Cicada Club, but also coming up, Ginger and the Hoosier Daddies, and many, many more, including Fat Cat Swinger for our big Halloween, uh, Halloween, our big Valentine's Day show. It's always Halloween for me. Especially when I look at Dean Mora. So, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you have enjoyed yourself tonight here at the Cicada Club. For now, this is Maxwell DeMille wishing you all the best of good luck and good evening.